Welcome to Florence, Kansas, and it's a really interesting town to explore around. That we're starting here. This is the Harvey House, and the Harvey House was originally uh, purchased by a guy named Fred Harvey in 1878, and it was one of the first, or the first, hotel slash dining room um, along the Santa Fe Railroad, where guests were served fine food and. It was in operation from 1878 to the year 1900, and now it's a museum here in Florence. And as you'll see, there are a lot of old buildings uh, around town, and a lot of them in the, in the downtown area. So let's start with going downtown and taking a stroll, telling you kind of what happened to this town. It used to be much bigger than it is now today, but I'll tell you what happened to this town, and. Uh, show you around the rest of town and then we'll talk a little bit more at the end of the video Florence is located in Marion County, Kansas Marion County is basically in the central part of Kansas and Florence is located in the southeastern part of Marion County Before Kansas was a state it was called the Kansas Territory and it was organized in 1854 it became a state in 1861, but Marion County was actually formed in 1855, just after the territory was organized, and there were settlers that started coming here. And some of the first settlers ever in Marion County were here near Florence, and they, they came here in the late 1850s. And one of them was named Patrick Doyle, and he uh, came here, and his family actually had the first birth in the county and so a post office was started near Florence here and it was called Doyle and it was 1866 until 1871. Then in 1870 the Florence Town Company was formed by Samuel Crawford. Crawford was the previous governor of Kansas from 1865 until 1868. He decided to name the town Florence in honor, in honor of his daughter, Florence Crawford. And when the town kind of got going, they decided to move the post office from Doyle over here to Florence in 1871. And then also in 1871, the Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe Railway was built through Florence, and it extended from Emporia over here through Florence and then on over to Newton. And it was a, a big reason why the town grew and uh, eventually was abandoned in 1942. There have been numerous floods in this area throughout the years. And the most significant one was in 1951, and it was actually called the Great Flood of 1951. A lot of different reservoirs and levees were built in Kansas around that time. Population grew and peaked in the 1920s around 1500 and then started to go down you see in 1950 really started to go down and has continued to drop all the way down to 394 today
as you saw in the video, there are so many old and interesting buildings in this town. And it's really sad that it had the population that it did and now it's about one-fifth of that. And, you know, there's not too many businesses left, a few restaurants or a couple restaurants and, and maybe a bar. Um, and in the downtown area, it's just very, feel, feels like a ghost town down there. Now we'll say that around, you know, the outer parts of town, there's a lot of, you know, there's still 300 people living here. So it's not empty, uh, but it is obviously in decline. And hopefully um, something can be done to, to keep the history alive. There are so many, uh, to me, so many interesting places uh, like I, I drove down one back road, didn't even realize, found an old bridge, and then went down this this kind of shaded brick road that went all the way out to US 50. And when you got you know interesting things like that, little little things hidden around the town, um, it would be really really great for um, the community to be able to rally together to keep that stuff alive. And I really enjoyed visiting Florence and I uh, hope you enjoyed this little tour as well. Final story from Florence, uh, the, the generosity and kindness of, of small town. Uh, Florence, Kansas was evident for me. My car uh, wouldn't start after I was touring around and I, uh, there, there was no one around in the down I was parked in the downtown area and so um, I had to go literally knocking on doors and the guy came over tried to help me jump start it didn't didn't uh, that didn't work and so I he called um, another guy who was kind of a mechanic I guess in town and and just guy came over with his truck started looking at my engine started pulled out a like a pocket knife and was <laughs> just scraping on things and and eventually got my car started like a miracle so thank you um, to the good people of Florence Kansas that there are no hotels here so I would have had a long walk back to Wichita after shooting this video but uh, another reason uh, to come to Florence Kansas